guys, well I'm out in the shop today and I'm pretty excited. I want to show you guys my belt drive kit for the PM727MXL. This will be for my linear rail converted machine that I'm currently working on. Now, I'm currently running this modified quill on my original Precision Matthews. I uh, have not had any issues whatsoever. However, for the new machine, instead of trying to modify all these quills, um, I've had several requests for a belt drive kit. So what I thought I would do was, I redesigned this and I integrated the pulley into the quill. Um, I had some made. Now as you can see, they're really similar. However, there are a few differences. Number one, we don't have the gear and the pulley is integrated. I'm really excited about this. It's all steel, all one piece. It has the spleens for the spindle. It has a recess here for your top hat for the power draw bar. And the difference being is this quill here will actually slide down through the top two bearings in your lid and then you'll just put a keeper on the bottom. Really simple to install. It has the machined edge here to fit into the original oil seals for the gearbox. That'll also help give it a little stability down there at the bottom. I'm really excited about this. So this particular belt drive is going to be for my linear rail conversion and it's going to be paired up with the Marathon Micromax motor. Now this motor is a 145 TC framed motor. It's a four pole motor, a horse and a half. And what's really nice about this motor is it's a thousand to one constant torque. Now if you've done any research or know anything about a motors you know that's that's pretty impressive. Uh, most motors are 20 to 1 or 10 to 1 variable torque. Uh, this motor is a beast. Also this motor is rated the max safe speed of 5400 RPMs. This is an inverter duty motor. You can overdrive this motor. It says right here on the nameplate that it's 60 Hertz. It's 1755 RPMs. At 120 Hertz, it's 3500 RPMs. Now, my buddy Wyatt's running this uh, motor currently on his Precision Matthews, this complete setup. Um, he's actually running it with uh, the modified quill without any issues. And he shot some video for me, so let's take a look. Now you can see that he's taking massive cuts here. You can see it's pretty impressive. So I thought I would post this video and see what kind of interest I have in a belt drive kit. Now this kit will include the steel, all steel quill an all steel pulley. This one happens to be aluminum but in the kit they'll be all steel. A motor mount. This is a 3 8 inch thick aluminum motor mount. Now this one happens to be for the 145 TC frame. However, uh, we can machine other motor mounts for different motors. Just e send us an email and we can work that out. Uh, it'll come with a couple of risers. These are three quarter inch wide risers. It bolts right to the top of the Precision Matthews using existing holes. Comes going to come with a belt. Uh, the motor mount plate bolts in like that and you have these adjustment slots to adjust the bolt uh, belt tension comes with all the hardware to mount the motor. 
So the belt drive kit will be $6.95. If anybody's interested in that, uh, I'll leave some contact information in the video. You can each shoot me an email. I'm pretty excited uh, to get this marathon motor up and running. I have a few of these motors, so if anybody wants the complete setup, it's going to be $11.95. Uh, again, shoot me an email and let us know. If I get enough, if I get enough interest in these belt drive kits, uh, we'll start making them. The quill fits right over the spindle, really nice, and you can see that. There's plenty of uh, uh, the spindle sticking up here. Now, your th this particular spindle is threaded, but yours will not be. Uh, the plan is to slide the top hat right over that. And these risers are already drilled for a lift plate. Uh, this is the same lift plate design that I'm using currently on my current belt drive setup. Uh, this lift plate for the power draw bar. Also, we're working on replacing the oil seal with a bearing setup. And we're still testing this out, see how it works. Uh, currently, I'm running my belt drive without anything in there, and it seems to be running fine. Uh, Wyatt is running with the bearing, and it seems to be running fine. He's getting really great finishes, um, so this prevents any kind of, you know, belt pressure, putting any kind of pressure on that, and it kind of really keeps it independent of the spindle, so... This will be an addition to the belt drive. I'm not sure what the price on this is going to be. We've got to make sure it's tested out and it's fully functional. Uh, we're going to have that available later. So I'm pretty excited, guys. If you're interested in this belt drive kit, shoot me an email. Um, leave comments in the video. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And most importantly, be safe.